Hi, welcome to Alcord Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this digital projector. Here's the brand name for it. Show some of the highlights on the back of the box. That's the model. The barcode. And the item is extremely small. This is perhaps one of the smallest projector I currently own. Bottom, we got four silicon vibration pads, anti-vibration pads. Because this item is so light, there's a tripod thread. That way I can use my tripod, mount it, view it outdoors, indoors. And there's also a little lift here. Because if I turn it counterclockwise, see how it's protruding more. That way if I need it to angle upward more, I can just keep on turning this. I'm gonna turn it back. There we got the keystone, we got a focus ring. There's no strap for the cover, so I, I can see myself losing this if, if I keep taking it out of the house. There's the lens right there, ventilation, and all the controls are on the top here. This is the power adapter. It's universal, inputs at 100 to 240 volts, outputs at 21 volt, 1.8 amps. USB, HDMI, the audio out, and there's the power, and this is the infrared for uh, the remote control. It did come with a remote and HDMI, but I'm just using my own. The white part over here, this is the MFI to HDMI adapter. Because most of the time I'm just connecting that to my to ta my tablet, my iPhone. I'm gonna show some pages of the user manual as well. If you want to read any part of it in more detail, feel free to pause the video. Here are the specs for it. It can scale up to 1080p. Screen size, 30 inches, 220 inches. And that really depends on how far the projector is sitting from the screen. Right now the room is actually pretty dim, but the iPhone compensates and so it makes it look brighter than it actually is. The HDMI cable is connected to the projector, to the MFI adapter, to my iPad. And because this unit draws so little power, I can run off a portable battery. This is my one the ones I reviewed in the past. First turn this on. Hold on about three seconds. Saw how the light went from red to green. I'm shining it directly onto the ceiling. And I'm just trying to adjust the focus here. There. And let me play a video. This was a pork with sauce and rice. The brand name still Apec. I still got a lot of these bought in bulk. It's one of my previous videos. I'm gonna pause this video for a sec. Here's some. And before I mentioned that there are two little dials. One is to adjust the focus, which I already did. The other is a keystone. Notice how it's tilting. So the keystone, it's just a a slight adjustment. It's not that drastic. Just fine for something this small, this portable. But right now I can see the title of the text where it says pork with sauce and rice clearly. As for the ingredients right below that, that line, well, it's not that clear. Let me show what it would look like on the screen itself here. I'll take this out of full screen. It's a little bit more clear on a tablet. I'm gonna hold the projector closer to my phone. This is on the speaker side. This is on the fan exhaust side. It's barely audible. This is perhaps one of the most quiet projectors I own. As for the built-in speaker, I'll say it's maybe like Someone's five watts. On it. We'll, I'll get to that soon. So I'll open this up here. 
The left two buttons on the projector, top of it, these adjust the volume. Then there's the OK button. On the right hand side, this is where I can change the input. And the second from the right, this enters the, the menu system. Next we have the sound. I just keep it as standard. I don't really adjust the sound that much because a lot of times I'll just hook it up to either a Bluetooth speaker because I'm using my Fire Stick or if I'm using my like a tablet then I'll just plug in a 3.5 millimeter cable and the other end I'll plug into my other speaker. And at the time I'm making this video this is the version of the firmware. Let's head back. Oh one other thing I'd like to show is so over here where it says projector setting I can invert this too. Let me just show some of the options here. Desktop front, rear, ceiling front, rear. I'm just gonna raise the volume all the way up. Okay, sweet. It's a little kick to it. Not that spicy, but definitely yeah, a little bit of chili pepper in here. I'm gonna roll volume back down again. So the speaker is maybe two, two and a half feet from me. More tasteful. Projectors have come a long way since I started reviewing them. It's small, compact. I think it's great for video. That's I want to use this for office situations, like for example, shooting, trying to present PowerPoint slides, because the text, eh, it's not as crisp. But when I'm watching a video, watching some shows with the kids, outdoors, indoors, yes. I'll definitely bring this. This unit was provided for review, but I looked it up on Amazon and I saw that it cost about $69. I do like this a lot and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.